I'm Tori Geekus, and I'm the director of the Vagina Monologues at SDSU, and it's playing from February 14th to the 15th at 4 and 8 p.m. The Vagina Monologues is a series of monologues written by Eve Ensler after she interviewed a whole bunch of women. Um, but after she wrote it, she was getting a lot of response from women saying that they were survivors of domestic violence, sexual violence, um, basically just their relationship with themselves. And she decided to set up this campaign called V-Day where every dollar of the Vagina Monologues is donated to Stopping Violence Against Women. So for one month uh, throughout the world, which is normally February, uh, colleges all over are allowed to do the Vagina Monologues for free, but every dollar they raise is donated to Stopping Violence Against Women in their community and elsewhere. Um, when I was a freshman at San Diego State a couple years ago, I heard about the Vagina Monologues and I wanted to go see it. And when I saw it, I had no idea what to expect, none at all. And I literally laughed till I peed and cried. And it was so amazing walking out of that theater and every single person who saw it was touched in some way or another. And everybody had an opinion. And I felt differently about myself as a woman and as an actress and a human being. Uh, and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it next year. So next year I was in the cast and then this year I'm fortunate enough to be able to direct and take on the organizational aspect of the show. And V-Day in particular, the, the campaign, the cause of raising money and doing theater and being an activist in your community is something so unique, I think, um, but something so important. And it's really inspired me to do the kind of theater that I'd like to pursue in my life. Uh, directing my first show has been challenging in some ways. Um, it's hard to make a decision and realize that there will be choices made on what you've decided and that better be right, but thankfully I have the best production team in the world. Uh, Justin Hobson, Jen Bjorkland, and Ali Zonsius have been ama amazing, just amazing throughout this. And we've actually teamed up with the WRC, the Women's Resource Center on campus, and together we're producing a whole bunch of events that'll stop violence against women um, with the money we raise. Meeting Eve Ensler was like meeting a goddess, kind of. Uh, the room just changed, which sounds probably very cliche and weird, but she has such a, a sincere presence and she completely believes that what she's doing is going to change the world. And that belief and that faith is infectious. And how could you not want to join her in her cause? So that was inspiring and made me so much more motivated and she is the reason that we are doing the show and that we have changed so many women's lives. This year the beneficiary, the global beneficiary rather, is the Democratic Republic of Congo and the women who've been affected by conflict there. It's been just a harrowing, terrible war that's gone on pretty much since the 1800s, and but until recently, um, there's been no help given to the Congo. It's very hard to do that anyway, uh, but one of the main war tactics is to rape and brutalize the women of the Congo. So this year we're giving all the money that we raise to helping rehabilitate women who've been afflicted of sexual violence. Um, and raped by soldiers of their own country and elsewhere. So in addition to being cast in the show, uh, I mean that's one way to be involved in the Vagina Monologues, but we also have this amazing group of people called the V-Squad. The V-Squad does everything. They do everything we need them to do to publicize, create awareness, 
do the labor, work the lights, uh, help organize people to do other things. I mean, everything you can think of. And we could not do the show without RV Squad. And the overwhelming interest in being involved in vagina monologues is what helps the show so much and helps the cause so much. So to be a part of V Squad is no small task. It's not a small job. It's extremely integral to the show itself. So that, does that make me a part of the V Squad? Yes, Jay, you are definitely a part of the V Squad, 100%. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tori. Is there anything else you want to say? Like, thank people or whatever? Um, no, I, well, I mean, just thank every, every person who, I don't know, treats women, treat women with respect, and CJ, Keith, our advisor, for creating the opportunities that we have at, at San Diego State. Um, every moment of my life. Thank you. Yay! <laughs>